shoppers hit their local malls and stores on Black Friday. Christmas magic appears once again for the Christmas season. All the West students will be moved into the East Campus Vitalized School by 2015. Also, Sheila Strawn has got your next lifestyle segment. And finally, Cobra News prepares for their Christmas special live on December 14th at 4 p.m. All that and more coming up on today's Cobra News. Hello and welcome to Cobra News November podcast. I'm Graham Beer. Coming up on the show, we have your daily news events and Sheila Strawn has got your lifestyle segment as we are making some festive treats. We are also getting ready for our Cobra News Christmas special on December 14th, live at 4 p.m. And all that and more coming up on Cobra News. <laughs> These are the top stories we're tracking. Big crowds fighting over parking spots and grabbing the hot deals was the common Black Friday, the day after the American Thanksgiving and people all over the world took to their local stores and malls to get the hottest deals. I was in Toronto's Eaton Centre during the day and let me tell you it was extremely busy. Now let's take a look at my report. Black Friday is the day after the American Thanksgiving and shoppers here at Toronto's Eaton Centre adventured out to get the good deals. Just in time for the Christmas season. And millions turned out to Toronto's Eaton Centre for all those hot deal deals that was on Black Friday. Ram, you're in Toronto's Eaton Centre. Since 2002, both Coburg Secondary Schools have been thinking of closing one school and put all of the students in one or build a new campus. The school board trustees approved a plan yesterday to close the West Campus and move all the students to a revitalized East site by 2015. Acting on recommendations, administration and the work of Joint Board and Community Accommodation Review Committee trustees ap approve the closure of both schools over the next two years. Students will move to a newly named re revitalized school on the current East Campus. During the consolidation process, students new, um, new to grade 9 in September four 2014 would attend the new Coburg Secondary School on the East Campus, while the remaining West students current grade 9 and 10 students would move to uh, the school on September 2015. As part of its decision, the board also approved approximately $12.39 million in program and accessibility, accessibility upgrades for the new school. The upgrades include a new foyer, science labs, library, track and field, information and technology rooms, elevator, bus lanes and parking. Accessibility to technology rooms, rooms renovations and the relocation of the Mac Lab from the West. This investment will also include the construction of a new multi-purpose learning center to support the culture and program needs of the students. Coburg's Christmas Magic was on November 16th, and this spectacular event is in its 18th year, showcasing a vibrant display of Christmas lights in Victoria Park, Victoria Hall, and in downtown Coburg. I spoke with Donna Todd, who was hosting this event. We have Donna Todd here, who's pretty much been or helping organizing the All Christmas Magic. Last year, you said this celebration attracted more than a thousand people. Do you think we topped that this year? Well, I'm thinking it's very close. Uh, it seems as though we're right up to Queen Street and fairly full, so I'm hoping that we're going to be very close to that number. And uh, the success of Christmas Magic takes a lot of effort and time for the town staff and volunteers. What do you think about the people uh, that helped to put this on? 
I think it really speaks to the cooperation that we have with our downtown business and all the staff. And to be able to grab that opportunity to say, oh yeah, this is a little bit different. I'm going to go out and assist in the actual enjoyment of my town. It's an unusual aspect for a job that you get to do that kind of outside work and get the recognition of just the citizens. So as an, I would think as an employee, it would be a wonderful opportunity to be able to share that joy. So, and I think it, it, it shows in what we have for a display tonight. Yes, and uh, this might be a hard question to answer, but do you know how many lights and decoration they put up in Victoria Park and Victoria Hall? I'm not going to say the exact number because I'll get it wrong, but I know that Olivia Bain would know that number. But I think that the number quoted would be 10,000. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot of great lights. Well, thank you for your time and Merry Christmas. Thanks, Graham. Merry Christmas to you and your family and to everyone out there. We will be right back after the sword break. Coming up, Sheila Sperron has your next lifestyle segment. Stay right with us. Welcome back to Cobra News. We have Sheila Strawn here with our lifestyle segment, and we're making um, some festive treats today. We are, Graham. Uh, tis the season, and yes. uh, we are often called upon to come up with something for a potluck yes. or a, a party or a gift, and mm. it's nice to have a few recipes in your back pocket to yes. pull out. So, um, cake pops have been very popular in the last year or so, but mm -hmm. they can be a little bit time intensive. Yes. So, we have a couple of alternatives today. We have okay. some lovely chocolate candy coated marshmallows and okay. pretzel treats. So, okay. would you like to make some with me? Sure. Okay, excellent. We'll just tuck these here for a moment. And what we're going to start with is some melted chocolate. Always okay. a good thing to do. Yes. So we have some white chocolate okay. and some um, dark chocolate or milk, whatever works for you. Okay. What's your favorite, Graham? Uh, I like milk. Okay. But so dark's always good. Too. That's great. I find that I like how it contrasts with some of the uh, the toppings. So we yes. have some holly. We have some crushed candy. I'll just move these out here so we, we can see. Excellent. We have some sprinkles. So let's start with the uh, the marshmallows. Okay. Take one of those. Thank you, Sheila. And I'll take one as well. You can dunk if you wish, but I find it often works well if we just kind of pour it over. Okay. And I'll show you a little trick once we've done that. Make sure you get the top. Sometimes that kind of gets a little bit lost. Okay. And um, the white chocolate in particular, if you oh. use the, the wafers, they melt very nicely and uh, also pour mm -hmm. very evenly. So yes. people can be tempted. You want to get rid of the excess chocolate to kind of whack it, but that could, you know, your marshmallow could pop yes. off. So what I find is if we just tap kind of our hand or wrist, then you get all those lovely little globs of chocolate off without doing any damage. So do that till it kind of gets a little bit stringy. Okay, and okay. then you pick your topping. I don't know what kind you like. Okay. I'm going to take some of these snowflakes because okay. they look really nice against the, the dark chocolate. Okay, well, I'll take some crunched up candy cane. And it's entirely up to you how much you put on. And there's and there's some other uh, top toppings that you can put on. There are sprinkles. You could do coconut. Yes. You could. I saw one actually that had great crushed graham wafers. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So it would be like a s'more thing with the marshmallow oh. and the but chocolate. That, that would be nice. Yeah, I might have to give that a try sometime too. Uh -huh. So, and once you've done that, you can just pop it somewhere. And, then you, you, where can, and you can do like, and you can do more than one, right? Absolutely. You can put it all there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then so we'll try a pretzel awesome rod. One. So you're going to, yep, that looks great. Okay, and then so pop I'll it in there. Pop that there. They're homemade. So mm -hmm. you know what? You want it to be, uh, you want it to be forgiving. Okay. Um, so let's try a pretzel rod and we'll just switch chocolate okay, up here. Okay. Awesome. This and, uh, and do that. And then I'm going to do mine with a well, little she bit. She was, of course, of, faster than uh, I am. Well, you know, I just want to make sure that uh, I get to show you kind of the options for display. Okay, well, we, we have so, lots of time. So, with something like that, and you can put that in there. Yes. But awesome. they, they look very nice in a vase uh -huh. or on a plate, but you can also wrap them very nicely in cell phone bags. Well, yeah, to kind those of, look really uh, nice. Yeah, give to a teacher, teacher or a coach or somebody special in your life. Yes. Well, thank you so much, Sheila, and uh, we have all of the recipes and information on our website, www.cobernews.org, and we also are going to have this on our social media sites. Well, thank you again, Sheila. It was a pleasure. And we will see Sheila ag again on our uh, Christmas special on December 14th, and uh, we'll just have to wait and see what she's making. 
Okay, we'll be right back on Cobra News. Stay right with us. Welcome back to Cobra News. Let's take a look at some of the events that are coming up around the area. Grace Christian Reformed Church is having a bazaar on November 30th from 3 to 5 p.m. Dinner is at 5 to 6 and our Coburg News and also our Coburg News Christmas special is on December 14th live at 4 p.m. So I make sure you tune in. Well, thank you so much for watching Cobra News November podcast. Don't forget to check us out on our social media sites. Follow us on Twitter at GB Cobra News and like our Facebook page. And don't forget to check out our website at CobraNews.org. And now, let's, and you also can subscribe down below. That would be awesome. Now, Sheila, can I try my um, awesome little Absolutely. Dessert would you uh, like to try the white chocolate I'll try with candy the, cane? I'll try the dessert or one. Or the dark chocolate. They are okay. actually especially good while they are still melted. Yes. So they're, they're, it's nice to enjoy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, thank you, Sheila. And uh, let me try it. Uh, it's really chocolatey. <laughs> Next time I'll bring a drink for you. <laughs> but it is really yum. And you let the spray in. You can put so many sprinkles on there. Yeah. Pick up whatever flavors you like. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So... Very good. Well, thank you so much, Sheila. You're welcome. Okay, well, um, I'll take that okay, with me. you can take that away. Well, and thanks for watching. And don't forget to check us, and remember to check out our Christmas special on December 14th, as we're going to be live at 4 p.m. Sheila's going to be there with our lifestyle segment. We'll have our news, and, and we'll also have um, Stacy on there. She's going to be doing some... Uh, she's going to be talking about some of the stuff, the greenery that she does. So, And I want to thank our uh, director, Hunter Strawn, for... Um, helping out with this and so anyway thanks for watching cover news and check out uh, our on december 14th as we're gonna be live on our social media sites for our christmas stuff thanks for watching i'll see you next time